quick update. It's been, uh, what time is it right now? 4, 4.35ish. Yeah, she's having contractions. Essentially what happens when Mommy Margaret was pushing. Um, she was getting uh, lacerations and she lost almost a gallon of blood. Before baby Emma came out, I saw how much blood that she was losing and I was so terrified. My body was shaking and all the nurses and doctors were coming in and I was just taking a step back and I was kind of crying. <laughs> Uh, this is surreal. So this is what happened. She just woke up around two o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden she felt something wet was coming out, and it was period. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, inflammation here, but yeah, you know what happened to me? I just got up really, really quick the moment I heard her voice. Yeah, we're admitted. We're in the hospital now. And we're just gonna wait for the nurse. And let's see how it goes. Before baby Emma came out, I saw how much blood that she was losing. And I was so terrified. My body was shaking and all the nurses and doctors were coming in. And I was just taking a step back and I was kind of crying. <laughs> Crying and praying, praying so hard that Margaret would be okay. And then uh, they gave me a space uh, to go back to, to be standing next to Margaret so I can kind of comfort her and be there for her as she uh, set out her, her last mitre pushes. And they determined that they had to use a suction cup to get uh, the baby out. And when the baby came out, it was so relieving. I had a high sense of relief, and I was just so joyous. I was crying again. <laughs> and I was just. You never cry. Yeah, I, I like almost never cry. But, uh. When the baby first came out, and then they put the baby on Marga's uh, chest for her first uh, skin skin contact. Man, I was so joyous. I was crying. My whole body was shaking. You know, just so proud of Marga. She did so well. And then, as uh, the doctor was patching up Marga, they, they took a really long time. They had a lot of stitches on her because Marga wouldn't stop bleeding after after such a long time. I didn't really catch how long, but it felt like they took forever to to patch her up. And say hi. <laughs> yeah, she did a wonderful job. There we have a, such an adorable and. A cute baby. And I think we're gonna be going home today. Right? I'm probably gonna go home today. Um, our baby dog Peanut's been waiting for us to I've been checking up on him. Hey, you wanna smell Emma? Wanna smell your sister? We're gonna introduce you to Emma soon, okay? You excited? Must be really excited. Yeah. 
that's Emma. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's Emma. Sister's upstairs by now, okay? You're gonna have to wait a little longer. Hey. Hi. Hey. You okay? Uh -huh. It's your sister, Peter. Say hello, sister. You'll get to spend more time with her later, okay? She's a puncher and a kicker. She can like literally suck you in the face and knock you out. No joke. <laughs> yeah, she's really strong. Everyone is telling, tell, well, all the nurses are telling how reactive she is. And yeah, and they're all complimenting her hair. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, she got a combination of our hairs mommy's thick hair and my naturally kind of wavy curly hair <laughs> yeah she's gonna be all right that was that's uh that is um the whole experience of labor and delivery yeah it, it wasn't so bad just very restless but everything's all worth it it is so worth it she's yeah she brings so much joy to us peace